I think it's time to admit that I have a problem. I'm addicted to grinding camos. So today, I'm gonna be trying to grind Dark Aether again on a brand new account. Now, I say brand new, but this is my girlfriend's PlayStation account. She basically has no progress on her Zombies account until this weekend. As you can see here, this account has played for a total of five hours. Uh, most of that was in preparation for this video. For me, leveling up the XM4, which is what we're gonna be getting Golden Viper today. So I've played multiplayer for about a half hour. Uh, I've mostly leveled it up in Zombies, so I have a lot of camo progress. This should be a quick one. I just wanted to make sure that we were close enough to get it done but really quick here's my camo progress grunge is completely done i have about 400 crits to go rush stroke is done vintage is done fauna is done topo is done and we need all of our infection camos so we need jackrabbits and crits but since we are starting fresh and this is going to be our first weapon we have gold viper on let me know down below what weapons you want to see me do maybe it could be some that I, I missed on our road to dark aether on my main account or just a gun you want to see me do again because it's fun but keep in mind i am only a level 39 I literally just unlocked Ring of Fire, so I don't even have that tiered up. Actually, I might have some crystals to do that. But really quick, these are the weapons I currently have unlocked in case you want to recommend that I do one of these. I'll just scroll through them real quick. Feel free to pause. And that's about it. But we have like two weeks until Vanguard comes out. I needed something to do. And why not try with a brand new account where I already know how to grind camos, but let's see if I can do it more efficiently now. Let's go ahead, go to our field upgrades. I can't even upgrade Ring of Fire. I need to be level 53. But I do have some crystals here, so I might as well upgrade something. I think what we'll do is upgrade quick revive because i'm not even a high enough level to buy a self revive from the crafting table so if we go down it's over we still have a little more crystals let's go ahead and upgrade let's get mule kick that way we can get more ammo i wish i was a high enough level to upgrade dead shot but i'm not i guess next we'll get speed cola upgraded and i think that's the only thing we can do really so we've upgraded everything we can let's go ahead hop in forsaken and try to get the first gold viper on this account all right, here we go. Hopping in Forsaken. This is about to be the first of many camos we unlock here. But in case it wasn't obvious before by me saying PlayStation, I am playing on controller. I'm not normally a controller player, but we're going to find out if we can uh, adapt today. So my movement isn't going to be up to par as it normally is, but we're going to learn and we're going to get better at controller. Let's go ahead and start up the portal and start knocking out these crits while we can. But one thing I have noticed playing zombies on controller is that it's basically auto aim for these headshots. Especially when I pick up dead shot, it's just smooth sailing. I just kind of have to tap the aim down sight button and just go back and forth between that and shooting. It's honestly so nice. The main thing I always have to worry about for camos is crits. I'm sure that's going to be the same thing here on controller. But it's going to be a lot less strenuous doing it here. Also, it's kind of fun just to play on controller. I feel like I'm more invested in the game, if that makes sense. Maybe invested isn't the right word. I'm more immersed, I should say. We have a ring of fire. Let's try to get all these guys to come over here. Let's pop the ring of fire. And I don't have the tier upgrade that takes from my ammo pool and not my mag. All this is is just extra damage. It's so cursed reloading in a ring of fire. There's our corrosion camo. That's the first of many jackrabbit camos we need to get today. Uh-oh, I'm getting surrounded. Run, get off me, no! I'm stuck. Okay. There goes our one self revive. The one self revive we have, we lost. Okay. Let's just grab this aether tool and leave. Okay. I'm going to grab this loose change as well as jug. Since we already don't have our self revive, we're going to need to be able to take as many hits as we can. Open up the pizza shop. Grab this loose change. Open this up. Head through the portal. Shut up, Peck. Put on PlayStation this time. Let's grab this loose change. Open this bad boy up. What is that? Brain rot? We don't need that. That's not going to help us. But we can grab this part. Grab that. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Oh shit. I might have just cornered myself. No. Nade, go. We're running. We're running the hell out of here. Go. So close to dying there. Jeez. These first few videos where I'm playing on controller are going to be a little rough. I got to learn everything. Probably change sensitivity, change some binds. If you guys have some nice controller settings, let me know. Because I'm still stuck on this thing where I have to hold square to open everything. And I know there's a way to turn it to tap, but I just don't know where to find that. Where's our last part? There it is. We got to grab this loose change. And let's open up this door and grab dead shot. Normally, I wouldn't grab dead shot this early, but on controller, it makes the auto aim so much better like it's so aggressive in zombies that it's just not fair for the zombies one thing i have noticed since the halloween update yeah i get like way more wonder weapons and free pack a punch and all that but i think critical kills are a little harder to get because you have to shoot off that initial like jack-o-lantern off their head 
So if your first shot is on their head and then recoil starts to take over, you might be missing some headshots, especially if you're not level with them, which happens a lot here on Forsaken with me camping on the truck. Let's go turn on power. Go ahead, start up. Let me through. Gotta pay homage to the boys, even on controller. One. There's two. There's three. This guy is like unbelievably long. And four. Don't take that out of context though. Pop this open. Go ahead. Go on out, abomination. Oh, there he is. Just ran over all those zombies. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Pop my ring of fire and just let loose. Oh, he's not happy about it. Come on, abomination. There we go. Already popped one of his heads. Oh my, everything I'm saying is a huge pause moment right now. There we go. Two of them are down. Just one more. Oh, he can only shoot out of one if he break the others. I never noticed that. Oh, come on. He's so low. Reload. Die. Please. I'm going to kill him with gun butt. No, 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 no. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to die. What? I can't believe this. <sighs> All right, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's just pretend you guys didn't see that. I'm going right to the truck. I think we might be able to get this done without pack punch and all that. I'm saying this confidently, knowing that I went down at like, what, round five and then again at seven. But that's the old me. The new me does not go down. Come on, zombies. Go ahead, drop me something. A little pack punch, maybe. That might be cool. Oh, there's one. And it's a mimic, of course. A mimic on round five. That's so rude. Okay, there's more than enough zombies now. I'm going on the truck. No! Let me down! Holy shit, I did a lot. Mimic, please die. Thank you. Now we go to the truck. All right, let's ring a fire. I think that might have been a bad idea to ring a fire because they're all just dying to the fire. Entropathy camo. We're getting jackrabbit medals. That's what we're here for. We just need to get these crits going. I really think I need dead shot. And that's gonna make this fly by. So I'll stay here for a little bit longer. Okay, actually, my time to leave is now. I'm so low on health. I feel like I'm learning to walk again. It's, everything just feels so clunky to me right now. I need to get used to this controller. Let's start up the portal. While the portal's starting up, we're going back to the truck. I'm throwing a decoy down. Don't get distracted by it. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, zombies, move away from the ammo bin, please. Grabbed it. Double points. Okay, I'll stay here till the double points is over. This is a perfect opportunity to farm points. We already beat our previous record of round seven. Oh no, I started to speak and then I started getting hit. What's in this? Uh, I saw an ammo mod and armor fall out of that. We're gonna have to check on what that was once we get a chance. Okay, we got armor. What's the ammo mod? It's not cryo, I don't want it. I can't see. I'm gonna die trying to grab it. Climbing back up. Oh my God, a mimic out of this one. That's not what we wanna see. We'll ring a fire. No, mimic, bad. There we go. Somebody want to drop some pack a punch or something for me? That'd be sweet. What is this? It's not even showing me what it is. It's stuck. Oh, we got an insta kill. Let's just hope that we're aiming for the head. Oh, let's go. Not bad. What's in here? That does not look like a chalice. Please give me a chalice. Oh, it is a chalice. Let's go. Oh, you can't even see pack a punch on this because I have Funkadelic on. But I don't normally get to use these like early game zombies camos. So we're going to be sticking with it. Lots of zombies around here. Climb back up. Holy shit. Back up. All of you. Back up now. Oh, there's another double points. Okay, now we're staying for the rest of this double points. I keep changing the rules. I keep moving the goalposts on when I want to leave. I just can't help it. This spot's so fun. An insta-kill will take that. Reload faster, please. Oh, another mimic. How many mimics are we going to get? Did they up the mimic odds? There we go. Kind of cleaned them up real nice. There's our glitch camo. Okay, we're leaving. All right, well, we overstayed our welcome by a few seconds there. How many crits are we at? 204. We need about 200 more bars. So let's hit our self-revive. And now we need to start moving forward. The teleporter. Let's grab Jug again. Instead of going through the pizza place and grabbing stamina up, I'm going to go through over here and grab quick revive. Okay, we're good now. Head through the portal. Hop in here. Grab this loose change again. This little part. We'll grab the coin. Open this up. Where's the flashlight? He's holding it. Thank you. Open this up. Grab the little TV. Pop this open. We need dead shot. Pop this open. Grab this loose change. Grab the fryer. And there is so many zombies coming this way. I'm going to try to pop a ring of fire and take them out. But first, let's see if we can build it before they get here. Just barely. Oh, shit. They're all right here. That shot makes a years of difference. This is ridiculous. I wish that shot was this nice on PC. Oh, shit. Oh, barely looped around. I'm still going to take them out. Okay, we're going through. Got to pay homage again. Two more. There we go. We got them all. Got to keep moving. Holy shit, there's so many zombies. 
Stun. Everybody get back. Oh, everybody. Please. No, we're down. We can get up if we kill this zombie. There we go. We're up. Open the door. We're not dying again. But if we go down, we're done. I don't want to restart. Why is this so difficult? Go ahead, abomination spawn. I dare you. I'm grabbing armor. I really need to thin out this herd of zombies before I start fighting this abomination because there's so many. There we go. And some nice kills in. Bring a fire here. Come on, abomination. Show yourself. Why are you... Every time I have a ring of fire and I'm shooting at abomination, all it does is show me its ass and I can't shoot it in the mouth. There we go. Bulletproof glass. Let's go. Nice try, pal. There we go. Blew up two of his heads. Oh! Okay, I jumped right as he was doing that. That was kind of cool. Nope. Back up. I have 40 bullets. Can I get this done in 40 bullets? Nope. Gotta run. Jeez, it's so weird feeling the controller vibrate as he's running behind me, but it's also, like, kind of cool. There we go. We took him out. We got our revenge. All right, through the portal. Let's go ahead, turn on the power, grab PhD. We have 34,000, so let's just buy pack two. And I guess we'll get cryo since we're here. I need to go back and get quick revive. It'll be very important. There we go. A lot safer than trying to go to the Wonder Fizz, I think. Let's head back up, and we gotta get dead shot. Go away, Playcon. Deadshot has been acquired. There's a scare package. Let's open it. Why is it facing the truck? That doesn't help anybody here. Oh my god, so many zombies. Actually, a crazy amount. Oh, and we did get a chalice immediately, so I wasted that money. Let's fry them. Oh, that's so satisfying. Let's go, conviction camo. We're very close. Oh, we just unlocked elemental pop skills, too. So we can eventually start getting that electric cherry. Die. You can die as well. All right, let's head on up. Let's go to our truck. The weird thing is, I haven't seen a single Aether Wrench on the ground yet. I mean, we did last game, but we might have died or something. I don't remember. This game, not so much. Let's head over here. Let's grab Death Perception. Oh my god, there's another abomination. Let's head up here. Pop a ring of fire. Pull out our death machine. Oh wait, he's not even in sight. Come on. Oh, Gold Viper, we got it! We literally needed one more headshot. Let's go! Can I exfil? Is the exfil window still open? I'm going for it. Come on, exfil window. Don't close on me. Don't do it. I feel like right when I get there, it's going to close. This has happened way too many times. Almost there. Oh my god, the abomination's in here. I hit the exfil. We did it. We need to get out of here, though. I kind of wasted my ring of fire, but I did not know I was only one kill away from getting gold viper. So we did this with 303 crits, 426 illuminations, six off of weed. We also had a few kills in our last game, but we don't talk about that game. All right, how are we going to do this? It's kind of laggy, actually. We're probably going to have to do this from the truck. We might as well use everything that we have. I'm throwing nades. Get out of here, zombies. Don't need you. Is there an abomination on this exfil? If there is, I have not seen it yet. But so far, it's not looking like it. But this L2 spam is kind of crazy. I sit there and tap it, and it all works out. And get out of here. Right about now. There we go. We did it. Let's turn on the rampage inducer and then let's leave. They can deal with that. I can't believe for as little as what we had to do, we had to play two games to get it. But this is our first one. We had to get our sea legs. All right, let's go ahead and pop the camo on it. This is what the XM4 looks like with gold viper. It's pretty eh. This is it with plague diamond. This is it with dark aether. It's going to take a while for us to get dark aether, but my goal is to get it before Vanguard comes out. Let's go ahead, hop in and see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what the XM4 looks like with gold viper here on the PlayStation. I honestly haven't really looked at it too much in game because I don't like this camo, but I'd say it definitely looks better when it's in your hands than it does in the gunsmith. But still overall, kind of an underwhelming skin. But this is our first of many. Hopefully we can get Dark Aether before Vanguard. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Make sure you guys leave suggestions on what weapons you want me to do. Even leave what map you want me to play on. Besides Outbreak, I'm not going to get a camo in Outbreak. I don't have like 38 hours to spend grinding camos in there. But that's going to do it for today. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please start subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.